Despite years of tariffs and sanctions aimed at curbing China's trade dominance, the nation's exports have reached unprecedented levels in 2024. In October alone, exports surged to $39.6 billion, marking a 27-month high and a 12.7% year-on-year increase, the fastest growth in over two years. This surge has propelled China's trade surplus toward a record near $1 trillion for the year, and analysts attribute this growth to global businesses accelerating orders ahead of anticipated higher tariffs under President-elect Donald Trump's forthcoming term. Economists forecast a 7% export growth in the fourth quarter, elevating total annual exports to $3.54 trillion and surpassing the previous record set in 2022. If you are new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. These developments highlight the limited effectiveness of trade barriers imposed by the US and other nations. Despite tariffs as high as 25% on over $300 billion of Chinese goods during Trump's first term, China's export machine has not only endured but thrived. The trade deficit with China has widened, growing from $621 billion in 2018 to $773 billion in 2023, indicating that tariffs have not achieved their intended goals. The resilience of China's export sector underscores the complexities of global trade dynamics and raises questions about the efficacy of tariffs and sanctions as tools for economic policy. As China continues to expand its global trade footprint, the international community faces the challenge of addressing trade imbalances through more nuanced and cooperative strategies. China's export growth since the turn of the millennium reflects its evolution into a global economic superpower. Over this period, exports have driven the nation's economic expansion, reshaped its industrial landscape, and redefined its role in international trade. China's record high exports in October 2024 were significantly driven by advancements in artificial intelligence and related technologies. Cutting-edge AI products, including smart devices, robotics, and software solutions, have bolstered global demand, showcasing China's growing leadership in the AI industry and its ability to dominate high-tech international markets. The surge in China's exports can be traced back to the early 2000s, when the country's accession to the World Trade Organization WTO, in 2001 marked a pivotal moment in its integration into the global economy. WTO membership provided China with greater access to international markets, incentivizing foreign investment and spurring the development of export-oriented industries. Between 2000 and 2005, China's exports tripled, reaching $773.34 billion and contributing 33.8% to its GDP. This accelerated growth was fueled by the country's ability to leverage its vast labor force and low-cost manufacturing capabilities to produce a wide range of goods for global consumption. The global financial crisis in 2008 posed a significant challenge to China's export-driven model, but the country quickly adapted by moving up the value chain, producing more sophisticated goods like electronics and machinery. By 2014, China's exports had reached $2.46 trillion, accounting for 23.51% of its GDP. The 2020s have been a period of record-breaking growth for China's exports. In 2023, the country's exports reached unprecedented levels, hitting $3.51 trillion despite a slight decline of 5.5% from the previous year. Moving into 2024, exports have shown resilience, with economists projecting a total of $3.48 trillion for the year. This growth has been driven by strong demand in sectors like technology and automotive manufacturing. Electronics and machinery have been the cornerstone of China's export dominance, with products such as integrated circuits, smartphones, and telecommunications equipment consistently topping export charts. This reflects China's transition from being a low-cost manufacturer to a global hub for high-tech production. China has also maintained its leadership in textiles and apparel, supplying everything from basic garments to high-end fabrics. The country has leveraged its advanced manufacturing capabilities and economies of scale to dominate the global market, even amid rising competition from countries like Vietnam and Bangladesh. In recent years, the automotive sector has emerged as a significant contributor to China's exports. The country is now a leading exporter of electric vehicles, 
with brands like BYD and NIO gaining traction in international markets. This growth aligns with China's broader push to lead in green technologies. China's export diversification has made the economy more resilient to shifts in global demand. The country's product portfolio spans a wide range of goods, including chemicals, metals, medical equipment, and consumer products, reflecting its strategic efforts to expand its global market share. Trade partnerships play a crucial role in China's economic landscape. The United States has long been one of China's largest trading partners, but trade tensions, including the imposition of tariffs under the Trump administration, have complicated this relationship. Despite these challenges, the U.S. remains a vital market, particularly for high-value goods like electronics and machinery. The European Union, particularly Germany, has also been a critical trading partner for China. Exports to the EU have centered around machinery, vehicles, and industrial components, and the EU-China trade relationship has remained robust despite occasional political disagreements. The Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership RCEP, signed in 2020, has further deepened economic ties between China and its neighbors, facilitating the flow of goods and services. China's growing economic ties with the Global South, spanning Africa, Latin America, and parts of Asia, have been fueled by large-scale investments under initiatives such as the Belt and Road BRI. Infrastructure projects, including roads, ports, and railways, have enhanced connectivity and facilitated trade. Prime example is the $36 billion megaport in Chanke, Peru, designed to create a direct trade route to Asia, benefiting the broader South American region. These projects go hand-in-hand -hand with resource acquisition efforts, as China invests heavily in mining, oil, and gas industries to secure raw materials for its industrial base. China's trade with the Global South has steadily increased, with Latin America alone accounting for 13.6% of its exports. In Africa, China has emerged as the largest trading partner, exporting machinery, electronics, and textiles while importing minerals, agricultural goods, and energy resources. This diversification has allowed China to remain resilient against fluctuations in global demand. In recent years, China has significantly expanded its influence in Latin America, surpassing traditional powers like the US in trade and investment. The region's resource wealth has made it central to China's strategic goals, and countries such as Brazil and Argentina have deepened their reliance on Chinese trade and infrastructure investments, while Chinese companies dominate key sectors, including renewable energy and technology. The BRICS bloc, comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, has been a cornerstone of China's global trade strategy. Trade between China and other BRICS nations reached $462 billion in the first nine months of 2024, marking a 5.1% year-on-year increase. China remains a key exporter of electronics, machinery, and manufactured goods, while importing vital commodities like oil, natural gas, and agricultural products from its BRICS counterparts. China has actively promoted the expansion of BRICS to include additional emerging economies, such as Argentina and Saudi Arabia. This move aligns with China's vision of a multipolar world order, where emerging markets have greater influence. The new development bank established by BRICS has also provided crucial funding for infrastructure projects in member states, further deepening economic collaboration. The trade relationship between China and the United States has undergone significant transformations over the past two decades, marked by rapid growth, escalating tensions, and strategic shifts. The early 2000s saw a surge in trade between the two countries, with American companies capitalizing on China's manufacturing capabilities. By 2005, U.S. imports from China had more than doubled compared to 2001 reaching approximately $43.55 billion. The subsequent years saw a widening trade deficit favoring China. By 2010, the U.S. trade deficit with China had ballooned to $273 billion, reflecting the significant imbalance in goods trade. China's exports to the U.S. were dominated by electronics, machinery, and textiles, while U.S. exports to China included aircraft, soybeans, and automobiles. The trade relationship reached a contentious phase during the Trump administration in 2018, 
when the U.S. imposed tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese goods, citing unfair trade practices. China retaliated with tariffs on American products, leading to a tit-for-tat escalation. By the end of 2019, tariffs affected hundreds of billions of dollars in bilateral trade, disrupting supply chains and increasing costs for businesses and consumers. In January 2020, both nations signed the Phase 1 trade deal, wherein China committed to purchasing an additional $200 billion worth of U.S. goods and services over two years. However, the COVID-19 pandemic and existing tariffs hindered the fulfillment of these commitments. Under the Biden administration, many tariffs remain in place, with a continued focus on addressing issues like intellectual property theft and market access. In 2023, the U.S. trade deficit with China stood at $279 billion, a reduction from $418 billion in 2018, indicating some shifts in trade dynamics. As of 2024, the trade relationship remains complex. China's exports to the U.S. have shown resilience, with a notable increase in October 2024 reaching $47 billion, a 2.16% rise from the previous year. However, the U.S. continues to scrutinize trade practices, with discussions around tariffs and trade policies ongoing. China's export growth and presence in the global market remain on an upward trajectory, defying numerous restrictions and tariffs imposed by other nations. Despite efforts by major economies, particularly the United States, to curb China's trade dominance through tariffs, sanctions, and other protectionist measures, the results have largely fallen short of their intended impact. Instead, these restrictions have often backfired, increasing costs for businesses and consumers in the imposing countries and disrupting global supply chains. China's ability to adapt to changing market conditions, diversify its export portfolio, and strengthen trade relationships with emerging economies in the global South and BRICS nations has reinforced its resilience, leading to record trade surpluses, continued infrastructure investments, and strategic shifts into high-growth sectors like green technology. China's export-driven economic model continues to thrive, suggesting that it may be time to reconsider the effectiveness of trade restrictions as a long-term strategy. Instead of imposing bans and tariffs that disrupt global economic harmony, nations could benefit from engaging in cooperative frameworks that balance competition with mutual growth. China's global trade footprint is not just a story of resilience, it is a reminder of the interconnectedness of modern economies and the need for collaborative solutions in an increasingly multipolar world. As the international community grapples with the challenges posed by China's export dominance, a more nuanced and cooperative approach may be the key to addressing trade imbalances and fostering sustainable economic progress. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.